Good morning, I got a special treat for you all today. We are going to the farm. The farm. We stayed in the RV last night. And where did we stay last night? We stayed in a Walmart parking lot. Yeah. In a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> just with random people. And we step in the RV. Yeah, random people know. Anyway, okay. so today we're going to go over to Polyface Farms. I will give you a little um, uh, show of it and my take on it. And um, it's kind of cool. We stayed in the RV last night. We had a lot of fun. It's a good time. We made it to Polyface. Yeah, here at Pollock Base, these are the rabbits. Notice they're down there. Just loving life. This is their water. They've got like a little, a little um, nipple thing for them. For the hose, it's going into a bucket. And it looks like they just drilled the hole just right, so that way the hose goes in there and seals it off. And they've got the pellets right there. And notice that rabbit right there just eating. Eating the grass. And this right here is the previous day, where they were the previous day. Notice the droppings. A lot of droppings where the uh, feeder is. Um, this is an ingenious setup. Looks like very affordable. What do you think, kids? And these, I'm guessing, are just feed buckets or empty ones at least. And they just have the... There aren't any in that one. What do you think? Boy, Polyface sure does have a beautiful place here. Oh, should we go and look at that one? But look, you can see where the tractors have been. You know, right down here, you can see these little, um, oh, they dumped a lot of food there. A cicada. Oh my, I hope the rabbits eat the cicadas. Look at that rabbit down there, cute little bunny. All those cute little bunnies. And they have these big straps here they just hold on to and pull it. So it's just some poly pipe to make the handle a little bit um, easier to grab onto instead of the wire. Okay, so we're here at the greenhouse. Okay, we're not gonna go past that, but you see the peppers, the tomatoes, and everything is just held up by ropes attached to the roof of the hoop house. And I mean, it looks like it's pretty good. Look, look at those huge red ones back in there. Oh my goodness, all those cherry tomatoes. I like this idea. And then you can just, they've got the irrigation pipe in the ground. It irrigates. Look it from the ground. Here, don't climb on the fence. Here's another one right over here. Let's see what this is. Oh, so beautiful. Look at these, all these, all these cherry tomatoes right here. Yeah. I think grasshoppers probably having a feast. There's tons of them in there. No, 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 come here. Come here. Yeah, but we're not going to go in there. That's how they get in there. Yeah, so we're here looking at the chickens. And you check out their waters. They've got a little bucket. Now, what's funny is that the chicks, I don't know if you can see that, but the chicks can get into the watering area. I think the, they built those bars around there to design it to keep the chickens from being in the water. But there they are nonetheless. And I think these are gonna be the laying hens, which is why they're not out in the chicken tractor somewhere. Look at all of them. But a couple cool things to note. Over here, Right over there, they've got a little chicken or a, a carcass of some kind that they're chowing down on. They've got so many wood chips in here that the whole place 
it smells pretty good. With this many chickens, it's amazing it smells pretty good. And, uh, yeah, can you imagine? So, let's say you, um, I don't know how they do it here at Polyface, but let's say you did it in here, and then next year, there are no weeds in here. You could put your garden in here. Anyway, this is super cool. Look at them running around. Yeah, so you've got a little bit of roof here. A little bit of roof here. Sides. So the back half is fully roofed and walled. And the front half has a door on it. Finish that and then you can go. you see one in there? Where are they? A chicken is turning green. Oh yeah, it's tail feather. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That looks like... Um, and similar water system to the rabbits where they just have a five-gallon bucket. They have this tube attached somehow in there so it doesn't leak. Yeah. It looks oh, like it's just shoved in there. That, and um, then this water um, watering system down below. And then, again with this thick, oh, yeah. this thick wire right here and poly pipe on there to make it so it's not hurting your hands. And they've got a little feeder down there. Well, a big feeder down there. That has their food in it. Oh, so the water goes into this thing? Yeah. And see how it slowly drips on the side of that um, dome and then comes down into the little trough. Feet. Yeah, they've got really dark yellow feet, don't they? Mm -hmm. That white one? So we're here checking out the ducks. Similar setup to the chickens. And notice these diagonal braces to hold up the middle. That way you don't have to have a strong heavy board up there. See how these like one by twos bracing everything, and then a two by two right here, which is um, you know for stability purposes. And then they have these little pieces of scrap wood to fill in these holes. But yeah, those ducks love it. Probably. Same kind of a format here, aluminum siding. You can see, maybe you can't, but you can see the the trail there of where the tractor just was. What do you think, Nelly? What are those, Nelly? Tikis? What sound do they make? Yeah, yeah they do. Oh, there's a bug that those are trying to get to. Check this out. All these birds. This is just unbelievably gorgeous. Yeah. Look at these, so they're hanging out in here. I love how you don't have to spend too much time on these tractors looking beautiful. They need to be functional. And that's what they need to be. Again, similar kind of water. I don't know how these waters know how know when to put water up, but I'm sure they've got some kind of a weight system on there. Look at all these chickens. And these chickens over here, those obviously um, they're kind of on a different path anyway. 
than, um, than these right here. But it is incredible to see all these birds out here having a good time, trying to catch bugs. And, I mean, you know, their feathers are a little bit rough because these are meat birds, but. Joel Salatin, I can see why you like this place. It is gorgeous. So they've got all these, all these chicken tractors. Let's see if we can count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So say they have twenty chicken tractors. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less. And it looks like they've got this tank here in the middle for their watering source. And then they probably just fill up a five gallon bucket, dump it in each one of these waters for the chickens every day. So that way you don't have to haul water. It's a pretty easy thing. I like it. There's a lot of birds out here. So one last take on these tractors here. They've got a guide wire. I don't know if you can see the guide wire. Basically it goes from this left side all the way over to the other side to hold the bottoms together. Then they have little one by twos offering is bracing to hold up the middle so they don't have to have big boards here and then like if you lift this tractor up it's I mean it's kind of heavy but it's not terrible yeah. but look at that look at those kids over there they're loving it it's a gorgeous sky and the oh you're not in yet sorry I don't know if those are butterflies or leaves or what but it is something amazing I like this. Maybe we can call this Chicken Hill. I like Chicken Hill. Are you all having fun? Yeah, you are? Cool. We're gonna go down the hill. Here's your low cost option for keeping a bunch of ducks. Just get one of these things of electric netting, a little shade cloth for them to hang out in, all these feeders. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a nesting box or something. They've got the water there. Whoa, that excited them. Look at all these ducks. Down in the comments, tell me what you think. That cone is over there with all the shiny stuff on it. I've got my ideas, but I'm excited to hear what you all think. Baby, come look oh. at this white one. Oh my goodness, that's the white one. Which one? Oh my, that one must be a daddy. It's got like some. Or a big mama. Jowls that are huge. So, I notice we have a. This looks like that irrigation tubing. And look at this one five gallon bucket handles all the water. Oh my. Look at these babies. Well, I would leave it how it is. Look at these little ones over here. Come look at these little ones and then you can see the babies. Can I hold one of them? No, we're not holding the bait. We're not holding these rabbits. See these little ones right here? Aww. Oh, that rabbit could just hop out too. You know, we're just going to leave this for someone else to put up. That fell down, but that's okay. I don't think those babies are going to jump out. But look at how awesome this is. It's one five gallon bucket. This looks like the irrigation tube for a garden. Like they're a little bit hungry because their feeder fell out. There's the big mama. She's not looking at my fingers, you see? 
the babies are fine with me, she's fine with me. What are they drinking? With the mom, and the baby's as old as this with their eyes open. Okay, well I guess we'll have to get some bunnies then. They eat from my hand if their feeder has fallen. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out how this bucket gets sealed on the inside and doesn't leak. Okay, we found another, found another area. With bunnies and chickens! With bunnies walking around and look at all those bunnies and the chickens underneath. So the chickens probably go up there and lay. You all do yeah. want bunnies? Hey, hold on, I gotta come to bed. Yes! Yeah. Why do you want bunnies? Because I would prefer a family of bunnies over a baby doll. You'd prefer a family of bunnies over a baby doll. Look at this bluish. Even one that talks. What? No. Wow, that was an awesome trip to Polyface. We made it back, the kids made it just fine in the RV. And we had a blast. The Polyface Farms, what is not to, to love about that? You know, they they don't go over and above to be flashy and showy. The um, pens, the enclosures, the tractors are all functional. That's my kind of style. Like a functional, um, affordable, uh, well, I don't know how much they cost them, but it doesn't look like they're crazy expensive. But I love all those tractors and all the different designs and how to help the animals be animals out in their uh, environment, out on the grass, uh, getting fresh grass every day and not sitting around in their own poop. You know, we've I've seen in several different farms where they've got the cows all cooped up in one little spot and, you know, the, it's just on dirt. There's nothing there. Pigs the same, you know, pigs in such small little enclosures. I love seeing things out on the farm, out in the grass, um, you know, eating stuff that they normally would eat. It is awesome. So Joel Salatin, fantastic job. I see why so many people rave about you. If you haven't been to Polyface, it's worth a drive. It is a bit uh, of a drive out there. You know, I kind of wondered, are we really going to the right spot? Like, are we going to make it? Because it looks like it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And it is kind of out in the middle of nowhere there in Virginia. But it's pretty awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, it I think it's going to propel our farm forward as we're going to use some of the same designs that he has there. Thank you again for joining Finding Freedom uh, Farm on our travels. And until next time, tune in.